And is it true that when you, when the school, when all the, the MLB teams were starting to look at you, and you know, what, 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 what was the hardest you threw? Uh, 99. 99 you're miles you're an hour. Game. When you're 99 miles yeah. an hour, and the actual, you know, the GMs are actually coming to the house, you know, they're, they're looking to find out more about you than just you uh, throw 99 miles an hour. You know, I remember when there were days when Steve was leaving, so they want they want to know about your whole family. Everybody. They want it, so it's like, and a lot of the college coaches are doing the same thing. They're searching through social media. They're seeing what kids are like. They're seeing what their makeups like. They're seeing, you know, who they're hanging out with and what's going on because that's how kind of that's kind of like their baseball resume or personal resume is your social media. Yeah. And with you, they actually they invested to come and actually sit down and kind of go through the ins and outs of what the Nicarag household was like. Yeah, I remember not only just my family, but I remember my principal telling me that there was, you know, sc scouts or higher-ups from other teams that have been stopping in at his office asking him about wow. me, what kind of student I am, asking just random teachers that of random classes that I've had, like, okay, what kind of, what kind of guy is this? Um, uh, farm directors or scouts, area scouts, people like that that are walking through my hallways unattended, pulling people aside saying, hey, do you know Mike Picker? Like, wow. Yeah, okay, well, what do you think about him? Tell me, tell me something about him. Just stuff that you wouldn't be able to, okay, go on my Twitter page and say, oh, Mike, oh, he doesn't curse in his tweets. Yeah, he doesn't retweet anything bad. Oh, yeah, this guy's a good guy. Yeah, we're going to draft him. It's a right. lot, lot deeper than yeah. that. And there's so many ridiculous things that people are putting on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook that they think it, They mind. think it's cool. Oh, at the but moment, the yeah. People <laughs> Don't think at school are the ones that count. I remember I was really, really young, and I just got a MySpace or, or something like that, and I put a curse word on MySpace or something little. Like, it wasn't anything crazy, but I remember I put it. I got a call from my brother Steve five minutes later. You better take that down right now, and I better not see one more on your social media ever again. And ever, nice. since, and ever since that, I was just like, looking back at it now, I was like, wow, that was really, really dumb of me to, right. for what? So a couple of my buddies can see a tweet that I say, I'd say, oh, right. that guy's funny. And I think, I don't think a lot of times people don't realize the spotlight that you're really in until something like that. You know, that stuff travels across the, the world Everywhere, faster. Yeah. You know, as soon as you hit send, it's gone. It's gone. And there's Forever. no taking it back. People are seeing it, they're saving it, they're this and that. And it's just, you know, uh, you know I think it's, it's, it's a tough world out there, and it's, uh, I'm so glad that you know that you're